Hello everyone. Now, the next one is your prism diagram. So, in the prism diagram, how we are going to show everything is what we will look over here. Now, in the prism diagram, the first thing is to mark the incident ray. So, let me take incident ray, incident ray something like this. Remember, inside the prism and then when it is coming outside the prism, this direction of incident ray will be shown dotted. So, mark this arrow over here as your incident ray. Now, add if PQ is your incident ray, then at the point of incidence Q, you have to draw the normal. Now, be precautious while drawing your normal. For drawing the normal, you have to make sure that the surface AB and the scale, the scales lining and the lining of surface AB should be in the same line. The line on the scale should coincide with the scale's line, with the line of AB. The line on the scale on the scale has to coincide with your AB. Once that is done, just mark your normal with dotted lines. Now, the normal is done. So, this is how your normal looks. This is how you make a normal very simply without using a protractor. Now, once that is done, the next step is to draw the refracted ray. So, the refracted ray will be in this direction. So that is your refracted ray. Mark the arrow. So QR we will say is the refracted ray. Now again, when the ray is coming out, before showing the ray coming out, you have to again draw the normal. So for the normal, surface AC and your scale line should coincide. Scale ka lining surface AC se coincide on a once that is done, mark the normals. So, our normal is done on the surface AC. Now, you can take your emergent ray out. While you are taking the emergent ray out, extend it backwards to meet over here on the original direction. RS is your emergent ray. So in this case, here is your angle of incidence, here will be the angle of refraction, angle of incidence R2 on the surface AC, second angle of incidence R2 on the surface AC and angle of emergence E and also the angle of deviation delta. This is how the marking should happen and once the marking is done, you will mark over here ABC as the principal section of prism, PQ is your incident ray, QR is the refracted ray. RS is your emergent ray. The normals are N, N prime, N double prime. N, N prime and N prime, N double prime are the normals to the surface AB and AC respectively. Similarly, I mention angle I as angle of incidence. Angle R as angle of refraction. and angle E as the angle of emergence. Apart from that, one more angle that you have to mention over here is delta. That will be your angle of angle of deviation. 
also we have an angle delta 1 and delta 2 which if not labeled not mentioned over here labeling has to be done but not mentioned over here will be fine so this is how your prism diagram should look I hope this is clear to all of you now that how you have to draw the most important thing the major mistake that you all do over here is to mark the normals properly having 90 degree with the surface area at AC so when you are drawing the normal make sure that the lines of the scale has to come in line with the surface AB and with the surface AC only then draw the normal so I hope this is absolutely clear to you all